What are we going to talk about today on this video? Yeah, I think you know. We've got some puckers here. There's some puckers in this entire room. I've got the carpet guy here. And he's going to re-stretch and tighten up this room. If you want to watch that, that's what this video is all about. Oh, and see this one here. He's probably going to have to use his... Uh, his Bloody Mary and cut right through that instead of how he did it the last time when he did his repairs around the doors upstairs. I got a video of that too where he fixed some puckers right at some door openings between uh, tile floor and carpet. Now see he, he's, he's looking here, he's feeling that. It's all about feel at this point. And that right there is holding, is stretching this carpet from that point all the way. I'm kind of impressed with how well that small one is doing. And see if he doesn't if he doesn't have enough to push all the way down, he's got a little control button right there. He could, he could have it stop exactly there, or if he wants to go tighter, he can push it all the way down. He's lifting it up off the tack strip. I told you I was going to show you the tack strip. Speaking of the tack strip, see? They got two rows on this yes. one, which is really good. Yes, they, they've got two rows here. And see how the little nails here, these little pin nails, they come up at an angle. And if it he, didn't have two, I'd have to put another one in. Yeah, because this room is so big. Mm -hmm. So they did, they did good. They used two rows of tack strip. And Let's see. Good on the inside. Then that sucks right up. And those little nails is all that holds this carpet stretched. See how they use two rows of tack strip okay. here. They nailed it down, and we all these are little down. nails coming up. Boom, got boom, 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 boom. Got it all the way boom. to here. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. I sure thought you were going to have to use that other stretcher. You can tell how tight I got this carpet. Look at here. That's the seam. See that? Yeah. And I have a special roller. Okay. That we use on the seams. Oh yeah, I've when seen we're that. done. Yeah. Look at that. It'll go right. It'll go right away. That'll be good. It's just gapping up because it's been. It's loose. gapping. Yes, it's gapping up a little bit because he's stretching it. That tells you. You know, I got all the way to there. That proves it, huh? Yeah, yeah. See, this one's no. gone. And somebody put staple. This one's pretty. Oh, much I was clean. gonna say a staple, but just uh, dirt. No, that's it's dirt. dirt. Something needs to be cleaned. Two little spots. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that tells yeah. me. Yeah. Wow. That tells me I'm going to be able to get here. Good and Lord. So far, so good. Now when I get to the vent, Joe, I go a little easier. Oh, just that little bit around the vent. And then maybe you never know. Well, we have to plug in a piece or something. Well, we'll, we'll see how. It's, I think I think it's looks. I think it might cover. I think it's I think it's going to cover. See, he's he's got. Uh, he probably stretched it a half an inch or more, maybe three quarters of an inch. And it doesn't seem like very much, but that's. That's about all you need. Well, he's, he's looking over here because see now he can kind of take some of that and kind of stretch it that way as well as that way. You know, what we we're trying to, to do we is to minimize this, any pooch. We want to have this fastened down. Oh, that has that before I can keep going. You know what I mean? Over this way. Oh, this, this edge. Got to have this fastened this down edge before over we here. keep stretching. Right. Okay. But he had to pull it up initially to loosen all this up so he could stretch it that way. And that's going to that's gonna help this corner. So he's, he's basically reattaching this, tightening it up a little bit. But there's only so much he can tighten it. We got our bubble. Yep. A 
another guy might have uh, option to take the seam apart. Yeah, but there's no seam right here at this outside corner. Either. Yeah, I don't think there's a seam. Look where the seam is. Here's a seam right here, and the next one is probably... No, there is. I think there is. Is there? I think it's 12 feet over. Yeah, I think it's probably right here. You could be, you could be right. There's the, Except... There's where the seam starts. From there yeah, to I there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, see? I would never well, have put see, a seam right there in that outside corner anyway. That's interesting because this whole shot... Here's 30 foot shot, 32 feet, right here. Yeah. Instead of the guy cutting this wide and making a seam here, uh -huh. he cut the damn thing 32 feet and then took off. That's clean. Yeah. That's a way to install. Well, that, that, that minimizes your seams, and especially with it level minimizes loop. Minimizes your seams. Yeah, with level loop carpet, especially, it's harder, especially if it's Berber or something, it's harder to. Uh, to hide all of your seams. And they did a good job with this. Yeah, and the cut you know? pile job, there'd be a, shoot, a seam here, a seam there, yeah. one here probably. Yeah, to, Somehow fill, there'd to be fill two in, seams. to fill in and all this stuff. you can patch in those carpets all day, you know, cut pile. Yeah, but cut pile is easier to patch because you don't see the, the seams on that, but you know, something like this, you don't want to piecemeal it together. Yeah, piecemeal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to do that. No, nope. not on the Berbers. Well, you still got just a just a little bit of a pucker over there on and that outside see, corner. But see, that's going to go away once he stretches the rest of this carpet that direction. Oh, and I haven't even stretched across there yet. Yeah, he but hasn't. Some done, of these puckers, especially how. The carpet's being older. Yeah. The older they get, they're like petrified. Boop. So a wrinkle. Yeah, man, it's hard. It's hardened up, so it's hard. Up, and I'll stretch that darn carpet, man, till it's about to tear, and that wrinkle will still be there. Yeah. And we, until until it relaxes. It relaxes, because that stretch will eventually start pulling it. Exactly. But it doesn't happen on that first day. Yeah. But see that this looks already already a lot better. better. Okay, so now he's just going to work right here. And I don't know if they had two rows of tack strip along this wall I think or so. not. Oh yeah, everywhere. Um, this is how you do a big room. You got a double tack strip. Yes, right? a big room like this, double rows of tack strip. But most rooms aren't as big as this. If you got a smaller area like this, uh, my guess is if, if we were to pull this carpet up, which we're not going to, there's only one row of tack strip along all this stuff even these bedrooms back here see most bedrooms are about this size right here this could be 11 by 12 something like that one row of tack strip mo plenty same with this 11 by 11 12 by 12 one one row of tack strip because there's only so tight you need to to stretch carpet when you're installing but when you have something real big like this can you see how all of this has to be stretched so much when they install it. So you got a lot more stretch on that one piece of tack strip. If it only had one piece of tack strip, the tack strip could fold or you just don't have as many prongs holding the carpet tight. Okay, so. And then over time, because you got a room this big, it's going to start uh, puckering eventually because it's so large. Here's where you were really loose right in here. Yeah, yeah. And if you had a room this big and if you had furniture down, would, hey, if we had furniture right down here in the middle, would you have been able to do this without moving the furniture? A question for you. Probably, I don't know, it just depends how heavy the furniture is. Yeah. A light couch, I wouldn't bother. Dining room table, wouldn't bother moving. Carpet will stretch with it on there. Yep. A height of bed, I might move. Yeah, height of bed couch because it's so move. heavy. But some things like like the area where he fixed around the two doors, if we had, if we had beds in there and office 
table in there in the office and stuff. You could have still done it right through that no because problem. we were just working right there next to the door. Okay. At most houses, I can go in and just move maybe one side of the room. Uh huh. Just move whatever off the one side, pull yeah. it up and stretch and tuck. Yeah. Maybe two two sides, but usually just one or two sides. Yeah. You remember? If you saw my previous video, you would have seen all the puckers over here. See how much, see how much he's, he's stretched the carpet. Look at that. Some of that he's going to cut long and tuck under. So he's probably stretched it here over an inch, right? Yeah. About that or more. That's quite a bit. 